Hey guys, so I have a review video today. This is, I should have grabbed it first. I'm gonna be talking about these new super foil shadows that Lime Crime came out with. I picked up two of them because I wasn't sure how well I was going to like them. Um, I saw these were coming out and I was super excited about them. You can use them wet or dry, but I'm not someone that uses shadows wet all that often anyway. So I liked that you could use them dry. And then when I first got them and opened them, I was questioning how good these were going to be because if you can see, that pink looks super chunky just from looking at it in the pan. But I was actually really surprised with these, so I just wanted to talk about them. I got that one I just showed you was Tutu and On Point. I don't know which one's supposed to be which. I'm assuming Tutu is the purple one and On Point is the pink. So it's like a bright purple with violet sparkles in it and then this metallic pink. And then the other one I got was Electric and Barbarella. Which is like, it looks like it's a mauve color, but it's really like a pink with a purpley shift to it. And then this is like an old gold. And I actually, all I have for eyeshadow on today are those two colors. So these are gorgeous. <laughs> I was really, really surprised and impressed with them once I started using them. Because, like I said, the pink and then the gold in this one looks super chunky. So I'm going to swatch them dry for you. They're like insanely pigmented. When you touch them, they feel super creamy. So that's what uh, Tutu and on point look like. And I will show you super, super pretty colors. I'm hoping that this is, my hand is dirty from other swatches up here, but hopefully you can see those two colors and how much it's stuck on my finger. It kind of has like that, um, the super dimethicone feel to it, like, um, what shadows are kind of like that. The newer Makeup for Everyone's. I will say when you try to clean this off, it does make kind of a glittery mess, so keep that in mind. They are very sparkly shadows. Um, and then I'll show you them wet. I should have actually left those swatches on so that you can see the wet ones next to the dry ones. So I'm going to swatch them dry again and leave some space to swatch the wet ones right next to it. All right, so those are the dry ones, Tutu and On Point. And then using them wet, which I haven't even bothered to do because they're so pretty on their own. Um, let's see here. You're supposed to wet... What they were doing in the Instagram photos that I saw was wetting their fingers. Yeah, see, to me, using shadows wet just makes unnecessary mess. Because I'm not seeing that much of a difference, except maybe it sticks to the skin a little better. That is dry, that is wet, that is dry, that is wet. So honestly, I don't find it necessary to use them wet because there's not much difference in color payoff. To me, anyway, if you like to use them wet, then by all means go ahead, but like, this was all dry, and those were the only two colors I used today were the ones I'm going to show you next, which is Electric and Barbarella, and they're super cute because they put little icons on the back. So I'm going to show you these. Like I said, this, um, the Barbarella one, it looks like a mauve purple, but it's actually a really cool, like, duochrome. So that is what that one looks like. That is what I have on the inner half of my lid. No, the outer half of my lid today. And then on the inner half I have the electric color, which is a crazy... I guess you would call it like an old gold. It has a lot of gold sparkle in it too. And just for kicks I'll do those wet too. See if there's any difference, but I really don't think there's going to be. Oops, I'm just using some Fix Plus to swatch them wet. And I'm hoping that this isn't gonna like 
make an issue in the shadow. Yeah, it definitely changed the texture of the that pinky color because it made it almost like a paint. But again, not a lot of difference in color. So you got the Barbarella dry, Barbarella wet, electric dry, electric wet. So yeah, see where it was more wet? It definitely brings out more of the pink and the Barbarella color. But other than that, it doesn't seem to do much of a difference. It doesn't seem to make much of a difference. I can't talk today as usual. So you can see all the glitter with one swipe. Kind of gets glitter all over you. I'm sure I'm going to have fun washing these colors off when I take my makeup off tonight. But I do really like the formula. Um, see, I don't like that because I used it wet right there probably gonna have that spot in the shadow now which is one of the main reasons why I like to just use them dry but you do get how much product do you get in here you get five grams it says water activated metallic eyeshadow duo I like I said I really don't see the need to activate it with water because it's just gorgeous they're both gorgeous on their own they have six colors six duos all together um, I may have to get some the other ones because I really, really like these. Um, despite this pink one being super chunky, I didn't experience a lot of fallout with it. I've only used it once so far on my eyes, but I didn't get a lot of fallout. Um, and then there was no fallout at all with this, so really, really like them so far. So I wanted to just do like a quick little review on them in case you were wondering and curious about them because I haven't seen much about them yet on YouTube especially. Um, and that's it. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video.